Hello there. This is Pacino. Where we'll be spending the next couple of minutes or many minutes to actually watch a battle. And oh my god. We have the maze locking in airborne, playing against Pax Ajax, playing as the USF and Dumay is a man with a plan and he is not sorry at all no absolutely not air dropping troops here on your enemy's position is so brutal let it be if you're playing wehrmacht or uh, americans air drop a 30 cal put it in this house here and it's in a preem con preem position to watch over the fuel point plus it's also rather difficult to flank as while the heavy machine gun can't return fire over the wall, neither can your infantry. But if you have a weasel, then it can fire over. And uh, any attempts to, say, flank the house from the wall here, there is a tiny bit here where your troops can actually get in close without the heavy machine gun uh, pointing at you. But then again, you'll have to dance around the building like here and then back here and then back there and there. <sighs> anyway, fuel secured. Weasel is out. Or Pax. Pax is the CEO of the Weasel Gang. Self-proclaimed CEO of the Weasel Gang. Yes. This be the season where you shall invest into weasels. We are losing men and uh, uh, the weasel needs to get into friendly territory so he can get that 30 cal upgrade in. Well, uh, for now, the weasel is sucking up some damage. Oh my goodness. Then there comes the heavy machine gun. No wonder Dumay, he really wanted this building. As I said, it is the best one for looking over the enemy have taken our territory. Looking over the fuel, as these other houses here has blind angles, as you can see. If you, there's a heavy machine gun in here, stand here. Then you can return fire onto the building without taking heavy machine gun fire. Same is uh, true for this building. It too has a blind spot that you can utilize when you want to push it away and grab your fuel. Anyway, Weasel, gotta get some repairs in. Have not begun its weapon upgrade yet. That's not the best timing here for Pax's Weasel. Yeah, doesn't have the, does not have the heavy machine gun upgrade. There we are, Vet 1, the Airborne Spirit heals them. Going for the kind of cutoff point. I mean, no, it actually doesn't. Okay, now it cuts off because he also lost the fuel. Uh -huh. An MG42 team is ready. It doesn't even cut off the fuel here, as I think I previously thought it did. Huh. Anyway, Weasel is nowhere to help out, and now that it's in territory that's not connected he still can't get his heavy machine gun upgrade in and we are now four minutes in and this weasel here is not earning any uh veterancy when it can't fire well okay there is shared veterancy i guess no or is it just because it has taken damage yeah the point being without its gun it accumulates veterancy at a snail's pace And this is just so bad for Pax. So bad. We are losing control of a sector. This mortar here may also have been too early to invest in. Alarm. Sector override. I think it would have been better off with another rifleman, and in order to help him deal with the MGs and the garrison, utilize the the, what's it called the blind spots most of these buildings that are placed right next to each other will have a blind spot 
which is why you also see that this house here is you know, standing out in the open doesn't have any the buildings that really blocks it enemy infantry spotted us oh, do me with a fuel cache interesting 15 fuel deduce versus Paxis 10 uh, straight right finally the weasel got its gun and now it's a threat to the mgs out in the open it can just back off get out of range can even pursue a bit uh it doesn't get any further model drops anyway in case you're wondering paxi did go for the special operation because we have the weasel that's a given but he doesn't have anything else unlocked from his squad yet third rifleman on the field very good but why has the main not checked up i wonder he's got plenty of fuel plenty of manpower oh and now he can oh he's running immediately booking a win not sticking out to fight but maybe he saw the heavy machine gun there otherwise he could have taken advantage of the situation and done this and there we are no we we are not i thought for a second that dumay would reveal his strategy here by going for the sniper that he had briefly locked in but mm, switched to a mortar and then calls in the false Jägers. so i would have thought okay he's not taking up because he no that doesn't make any sense he still needs some at i'd imagine and hello double mortars from the packs ajax if i were to guess what to may try to achieve here is that he wanted to rush tier three this being tier one and tier two being Luftwaffe and Panzergrenadier quarters tier three being Panzer command that's why he wanted the cash but yeah well this cash were in a vulnerable position as it was facing forward whereas the other fuel point on the side would you know be less likely to be spotted and countered by mortars but Dume here he's yeah goodbye you did he yeah he has lost both his heavy machine guns now and he is under intense indirect fire launchers ready to paradrop on your request and that would be his at that he'd and call in once you can afford it so he is taking a detour unlocking false jagers then go for recall his launchers and uh, luckily pax he only just got his motor pool up now Oh, he needed smoke here if he wanted to get this back. Uh, yeah. Oh, the poor grins. And now the captain. Oh, hello! Bundled grenade! Decrewing both mortars. Promote that squad already. Yeah, weapon crew cannot pick up weapons of any kind. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. 
Open fire. Ambush bonus. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Pax is making a getaway here with both of them. All right, that. Yeah, it would have been nice if Dume he could have prevented Pax from getting them back. But man, he only had one squad here. Oh, ho, ho. was that purposely on the... Yeah, it looked like it was thrown at the doorstop and Dume, he walked right into it. I, th I think it looked like that. Because those men, they took a bunch of damage as they were exiting. Oh, there we go. No, don't you leave. Uh, don't you go back in. I meant to say that. Yeah. Force your Miega squads. Up close, they have about the same DPS as a uh, six-man Panzergrenadier squad. But this is a squad of four. Still have the same DPS up close, but roughly the same DPS. And their DPS at range is significantly better than Panzergrenadier's. But to me, uh, did get the Panzer company down. Is got the fuel. Need the manpower. We did see uh, Pax go for his advanced logistics here. So his riflemen and basically all his infantry reinforces for 25% cheaper. And you may have secured our territory from us. Yeah, he is just shy of a point here to unlock his infantry reserves upgrades or battle group ability. Oh, hey, they're setting up. Oh, they were packing up. Uh, Sector now under enemy control. Yeah, they are free. Oh, he okay, switches. It hasn't switched yet. Despite the indication, uh, tells otherwise. Ready for orders. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just walking up there, pick it up and... Well, he got decrewed, but at least there's a guy carrying... Oh, exit this building, please. Thank you. Bars. Munition surplus. That's the way for the riflemen to fight the Jaegers. Oh, there we are. Healing out of combat. At a moderate pace. Open shot. And there we are. Extra firepower added to the riflemen. Grenade, someone said grenade, uh, water fire. And down here, yeah. Panzer has arrived and packs Ajax. Waste no time going for the demolition package, which will allow his riflemen to plant some big explosions. And to me, not installing a heavy machine gun on top, presumably because he wants to save munitions for, well, not the stupid strafing run, but rather the stupid loiter. Yoink. Gonna need a lot of those sticky bombs to destroy this tank. Oh, wait, what? Oh, never mind. For a second there, I thought he'd actually lost the Fallschirm Jäger squad, but there we are. Now they're coming onto the battlefield. One, two, three, four Fallschirm Jägers. Ta-da! 
and the crowd goes mild. Fallschirmjäger deployed. Jawohl, we are waiting. Flare in the sky. But where? I heard the flare. Ah, there we are. Town Square looks lightly defended. Yeah, double mortars. This Granat Mafia here doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. The mate reacts in time. There we are, double bars for these men too. Yeah. And now... Oh yeah, they are suppressed. But UMG42 packs is still... No! As Dumay was busy leading this charge here, one of his false Jamaicans falls, manages to get a mortar in return. Victory point lost. Mm, didn't get that squad though, and can't really intercept with these guys. But yeah, Dumay is down on points, which is not unusual given that it's the Wehrmacht they are. Probably the faction with the weakest early game. But it's just the captain. Won't do uh, packs any good here. PT gun sets up fire. He's gonna push this thing back. There we are. Destroyed. These men here will be able to recover from their suppression in now. <laughs> the bombs away. More Jaegers. More false young Jaegers. Oh, he did get a heavy machine gun installed. Victory point is under enemy control. All right. Good idea. Now he just needs to keep it alive. Hot Suppressed them, barely scratched them. Well, one guy got hit. Uh, go, go for the grenade. I would expect the Fulci Omegas to win this, especially now that these men are out of cover. Counter grenade, that one hurts a lot more. But still, at this range here, the men should survive. Anyway, back to the middle. A little bit of suppression as the men are... Please don't enter this building. Don't enter this building. It's about to collapse. What about Pax? He has sent in commandos? What? Why would he go for commandos? Uh, he has so much fuel. That's 440 manpower that he could have invested into the tank depot. Uh oh. Riverino! It did. We have reports of a Falsch Omega have been killed. Another one to the pile. A good opening shot from the Panzer IV. But another Panzer IV is on the way. Mark vehicle. Or packs, yet. Courtesy of the battle group. Hopefully it's not Bach like the captain's mark. The mark vehicle ability. Because from what I've heard, the captain's mark vehicle ability only works once versus a uh, 
specific unit, you know, if you were to mark this Panzer IV, this Panzer IV in particular, with the captain's mark vehicle, then it will work the first time, but from what I've heard, it won't work the second time. Sure, you'll still use it, but it won't have the, the desired effect, from what I've heard. Not tested it. And with the upcoming patch, then hopefully it will be fixed. <sighs> with 103 points left, uh, Dumay has stabilized in terms of army composition. The only bit that's a bit shaking is <laughs> is actually his first Polsheim Jaeger squad, <laughs> which tends to die. Gets around. Still no shot blocker here. There we go. Oh, cutting it close there. Dumay. Ice in his stomach. Keeping it cool. He crews the AT gun and sends Pax running back to base where you will see there is a lack of tank depots. And he's now gonna invest into another AT gun, which is... You know, he needs it. He lost the other one up here, and the other AT option that he really has is these stovepipes here. And some sticky bombs. You have time. You have 400 VPs to play with. Uh, but Dumay is growing stronger. He's got to get side skirts onto his tanks. That's another 80 HP. Bringing you the total HP for his Panzerfia up to 800. You know, I was just thinking if Paxi can pump out two Hellcats and then go for a fourth rifle squad, I think that would be a the army composition for Pax. But then again, yeah, yeah, he doesn't need the fourth rifleman anyway. He has, he has as if. Just get two Hellcats. go for survival training on his men let's see 100 yeah i think he did i think they have 90 by default let's see infantry support center munition surplus operation field support demolition bar what field support oh something else happened munition surplus infantry support. field support that's the advanced logistics Really, do riflemen have a hundred HP by default? Because I'm not seeing the basic uh, training here, which it's called. Unless I'm blind. Whoa. Wow. And here I still thought they were on 90. Maybe that's the weapon crew? No, they too have hundred. Come on, eh? They should have 80 as well. Yeah, okay, so he doesn't he doesn't have it, so they really have that much HP. 
100 HP versus the Grenadiers. 80. Ugh. Yikes. Rifle in. Stay strong. But then again, I already knew that. And so did you, probably. Question is, how much do Foxy Vegas have? 115. Okay. Well, the dudes are pulling back. That means that the mortar could get up here and cap unless he wants to leave it at the front line, which you generally don't want to do. Oh, airburst. Rambo going in. Gonna find himself some AT guns, maybe. No, Pax, he's weasels them out of there weasel following and now he actually goes for it survival training he is really dedicated to this heavy infantry build Pinning them. The cap has stopped. Dumay also working on the other VP. There we go. Oh, hey. Uh, the mortar discovered runs back. Weasel dead free. Oh, killing machine. 15 kills. Pretty good for a weasel. Considering how late it was to the killing party. The adversary is trying to take one of our points. Enemy have taken our territory. Pax here trying to pressure Dumais micro ability with uh, two grenades in quick successions. Uh, yeah, we see the Panzer up there go down, but oh hell, let's go for this dive here. And miraculously, the Ozzy Maker is still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Well, what do you know? The Fossil Maker actually made it back to base. <laughs> oh, Pax. Pax is angry. Feeling cheated off the kill. While simultaneously getting dived. Boom. Take down. Destroyed by the riflemen, nonetheless. What did Dumay get out of that dive? He, he has killed the rifle squad. He got XP reset on both AT guns, but he lost the Panther IV. Uh, which he should be able to replace pretty, pretty soon. Uh oh, he's in the fire zone here. Oh, lucky bounce. Lucky bounce. Giving him some more time to escape and another bounce. Oh, goodness. X getting unlucky there with the penetration. But, 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 you may still under. Oh my god, what are you doing? Stand still in cover. Down to 250 points now. But yeah, as I was saying, he may still under pressure. 66 points, but he has uh, whittled down Pax's victory point numbers quite a bit. By 150 points. Almost 200 now. And there we go. Another Panzer Fear. It's coming into gear. But again, Pax. Ah, man. I just wish for his sake that he would get a 
Get a Hellcat. Yeah, still no tank depot back in base. softening them up and they're heading back to base to get healed and reinforced so they can better withstand a dive from Dumay but then again they did get interrupted Dumay getting in close and one path four. Oh, takes damage Pax tries to go for a sh shot through the building there but no dice The enemy has 200 points and falling. And now Jumei goes for the Panzer Energia Company. Why? What does he want from that? He can get Panzer Grenadiers, but no, he do not want those. Besides, he's got full Jumeigers. A pack gun? Or what? Well, better safe than sorry, I guess. And yeah, of course, there is also the 251. <laughs> if he wants to do some forward healing shenanigans, but I'm not seeing that happening. Okay, well, a triple cap. Jumei at this rate here, he will have equalized in a little more than a minute. But again, I, I'm just not seeing Pax, Pax destroying uh, these Panzerpias here with just 80 guns and stovepipes. He needs mobility. Mobility that he doesn't have. Uh, yeah, his, uh, his army composition here leans more into a defensive strategy. With his AT guns and no tanks. Tanks, you know. We have advanced battle Hellcats in deployed. particular are very mobile. Uh, the Dumay unlocking the Stooks. What else do you get besides the Stook? I always forget <laughs> what it is. Oh, yeah, the Naval Werfer, of course. Ah, the Naval Werfer. That's how you cook a turtle. Go for the Nebby. Oh, that's a lot of troops here. And now switch target. No, nope, there's the captain sprint breaks the suppression and it's dead. Grenade, mortars, small arms fire. There's no way it'll survive the, um, the water crossing here. And <laughs> dead. Oh man, is Pax really gonna win this on the finish line? No. At least not yet. As he is taking this VP, he has lost the one down south. Alright, to me, not feeling the need to go for the naval warfare. Oh, it's dead. Oh, that was critical loss and is he being greedy here well greed is good he didn't get punished for this time oh man he's not getting the rifleman the rifleman is getting away now he has one path of four 
out here. There are two stovepipes and an AT gun. He's gonna lose this. I fear. No. Yes. No. What? Come on. Yeah, it's gone now. AT shot inbound, but it took down an SSF squad. He crewed this. But then again, he did also lose the Fortune Jaegers, and he's now going for another Panzer Four. Yeah. Would, would infantry have been better here? I think it's fine. Fine for now. Oh. Well, now it would have been nice to have. Oh, no! We have reports of a Fortune Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Is he gonna cancel the P4? Call in a Jaeger squad on the VP? That would be a rather desperate option here, but you may. He keeps his cool. He can call in a new Jaeger squad now. Just me overreacting. And there we are. He's in the circle. Just needs to do a little dancing. Dancing. To avoid shells. There we are. Merging. Good. And human in the circle. And still go for it. And there we are. His heading is. Oh, here? <laughs> As he was probably afraid of dropping it there where they could be heard by um, the riflemen. Yeah. We have lost control of the victory point. <laughs> VPs are still in favor of Axe one way or the other. Holding one VP, draining the maze of his remaining 53 points. Oh, and he didn't get that point. And there we are. They find the riflemen. He has. Munitions for a uh, bundle if he wants to quickly undo them, but he goes for a strafe. There we go. But the triple cap, nobody over here. Some men are heading to the middle, being guarded by also, yeah, got Panther 4. Should be able to just about secure the two VPs. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, that was a brutal loss for the May, who was down to a grand total of six, you five units. Sorry, I can't count. Hmm. And there they are. Two pipes backed up by 80 guns. Sam Yeager is coming in, but I fear they will land in a heavy machine gun. Arc of fire. Maybe not. Here's hoping. Dodges that. That thing is still mobile. Our brave what has what? Oh no, they landed in the zone. There we go. Strafe is coming in. Uh, yeah, he lost the Grenadiers on the midpoint, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, no, it's dead. Ten points. Captain. Ah, uh, he, he needs to get into some cover here. Okay, gets the decap. Yeah, false MC and he is desperate attempt here and packs the squad is down. Goes for the triple cap. If he can hold the triple cap for a minute, he has won. Even less than a minute now. <sighs> but with only four units. It's, it's uh, very unlikely to happen. At least holding the triple cap. Can he at least hold two? Oh, the answer is no. As he defends this point, this year will be taken. And this one is lost as well. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sticking around here, having to defend this. Pax, he just has too much infantry. Spreading Dumais spin. <laughs> A knife throw! Yeah! 25. Oh, dear. And Pax, Ajax will secure not one but both vps on the sides Oy! and there we go it's lost pax in a very close game here defeats to me what a knife close game this was like really sharp leave a like for that consider subscribing dislike the video if you disliked it and as always i'll see you tomorrow have a good one, you wonderful people.